Okay, what is up everybody? What is up? Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, please work, dumb thing. Hello! Can you hear me? Yes. Looks like you can hear me. How's everybody doing? Sorry about yesterday. The internet seems to be much better today. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. I shaved so I don't look homeless anymore. Look at this. I have such a baby face when I shave. Fuck. Fucking hell, brothers. But, you know, just vibing. How's everyone doing? Uh, um, the fuck do I even need to do? We back? I think we're back. I think we are back. All right, I need gold medals. Um, I think I have a diamond medal. Oh, I need to do a diamond medal. Twitter giveaway is when uh, this when this ends, so two weeks. I guess I should have clarified that. Yeah, it runs until the end. That's my bad. Sorry. Um, put him... Yeah, honestly, we're pretty much done. It, the nightfalls are going to be the hardest part. Maybe I'll do like a little... Uh, for the diamond, you have to be the same team, right? So maybe I'll do try to get a checkpoint and run that. Do checkpoints work for the... Wabs, you know? Do checkpoints work for the... The bounty? This thing? Checkpoints do work. What up? You got some of the most creative thumbnails. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Done. What the fuck was I playing? Oh, I was farming. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. My postmaster, man. No, no shot I get enough. What GL is good in PvP now? Okay, I'm gonna go spend some of these exotics. Guardian. You having fun with Guardian games? Yeah, I saw a lot of people complaining about, like, Guardian games. Um, and I guess, like, the whole class versus class thing maybe doesn't work quite as well. But, like, the actual event itself is a lot of fun. I mean, fuck. Those are really good PvE nothing manacles. Or, uh, Ophidian aspects. I'm gonna keep that just in case there's a damage rotation that requires Ophidians. Ophidians are really good for hot swapping, sometimes for on Warlock. So I'm gonna keep those in the vault. Probably never use them. <laughs> As you do. Sheesh! Those are shit. Welcome back, Larry. Or, bit Larry. Barry, how are you doing, brother? Your subscription disappeared? That's all right, man. Yes, I. Why is this not refreshing? There we go. I'll keep those in the vaults. You're looking wonderful. All righty. Checking, checking, checking. Yeah, if checkpoint works for that, maybe I'll run a checky. See if anybody's doing it on the LFG. Surely someone is. Check, check, check. Okay. 
Although I have not been interacting with the part of Guardian Games that's like the winning class or whatever. That was a meme. I sent you. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, really fucking good. Uh, yo, Theo, what's up? I'm super sick. Caught a super bad cold yesterday. Oh shit, man. I hope you're all right. Get tested for COVID. It is going around again. Uh, hopefully, hopefully everything's all right, my friend. Hydrate, isolate. You and it just gives you an excuse to play more Destiny or Hell Divers or whatever you're playing right now. So. You know? Did I n not? Was one of those a platinum? I feel like a platinum ha the I'm glad you're still with Oh, do I have to claim the diamond over here? What bounty? The class one. Where does the Twitch... The, the one for watching Twitch, where does that go? That sport I love. No! <laughs> Shut up, Twitch. Oh, to Diva? Let's take a look. One of my friends asked if you're enormous because you look really big next to the skimmer in the thumbnail. <laughs> Why not? Do come back soon. Oh, uh, there we go. Cool. Bro, hunters are fucked, man. What? What I'm learning, because the way supposedly you put two of them on, like, ice skates? Oh, skimmers? Yeah. Uh, supposedly, this is weighted by um, the average number of, of medals each class banks per day. So, like, you log on, you're a hunter, you contribute to your team's average. Why the fuck are hunters... Do they just play more than everyone else? That's fucking crazy. I need to see the analytics of this. That is literally absurd. Yeah, I'll hear a I'll hear a fun fact. Yo, Blanco, what's up? Okay. Oh, what's the nightfall today? Why is it the disgraced again? What? Making a purchase, or are you just here to chat? <laughs> That's a very fun fact lab. Bungie said today they were just in the waiting scheme. Hunters were racing away with every single focus event. Dude, that, I. What is it about hunters? I need a breakdown. I need a psychology breakdown or something. I'm about to have a psychology breakdown, you know what I mean? Uh, and just to clarify, this this one does work. Complete all encounters within a raid with a full fire team of the same class, does that work with a checkpoint? Yes or no? It, the wording makes it sound like it doesn't, but history would would suggest that it, it maybe does. What's like the shortest raid? Probably Crota. believe this is home full fucking raid man i don't know if i want to run that is it worth it? Oh, it's kind of worth it. Diamond and all that. Okay, we're gonna do some. We're gonna do some nightfall soon. Fuck it. I heard they disabled class matchmaking, which is pretty funny. Oh, uh, dude, is it gonna make me log into this again? Bro, as a platform, Tiltify pisses me off. It's like something that no one here is going to relate to, but holy fuck, I just feel like complaining about it. 
the uh the website that bungie uses to fundraise just this time it's always a different one but specifically this time it'll it'll only let you log in through email so i have to send myself a fucking email every time it's just like oh god i want to die it's okay we're good okay copy that but we're we're good Bam. Got him. Didn't comment on the link I, I to Oh man, do you know how many people fucking hit me on Twitter? By a disgraced wizard named the voter. Would you would you fucking would you tweet at me? Now the brood questions your strength. That desperation. You haven't completed a timeline mission, so find out like kid, how are you gonna be up to date? Ti what the fuck's a timeline mission? Wait, can I do those? I remember now. That's, uh... What? How the fuck did you know? I haven't done it. Where is it? Is it this? Lots of movement ahead. Be ready for anything. A uh, Prophecy is the weekly. I forgot about those. They talked about it, like, two years ago. Bruh? Bruh? I totally forgot that was even a thing, man. Probably not ever gonna do it. <laughs> oh, please. Um, is the Augur Showcase and those missions are dark shit because they're not the full campaign? Why am I the scrubbiest all time but get the urge to try a low man run every now and then? Dude, fucking... You don't have to do the whole raid, right? Just pick pick the easy encounters and do it. Why not? You know? Fuck it. Oh, this is not good. Pretty sure I core give some rewards. Maybe I'll do them. But yeah, Cam, pick the first first or second encounter. Probably the easiest two low mans in the game. Between those and, like, Confluxes or Oracles. Pick one of those and just fucking learn them. You know what I mean? You can only get better uh, if you push yourself. And then if you, if you feel good about those, then pick, like, an easy boss one. I'd say the easiest boss one's probably Templar or a Gatekeeper. No, Templar. That was right. Sorry. Templar. Templar Atrax. Pretty easy. Um... What else is pretty easy? In terms of a boss encounter. Uh, those are the main ones. The other ones are a little tough. That I can think of. I might be missing one. Nez, Nez, I would not consider... I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but I definitely don't think it's... I would consider it an easy solo. It's easier than some. Yeah, solo, solo. He's talking about soloing. So I think would probably be a pretty good beat. I haven't done it since the changes, so I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. Oh, that box, man. Are you serious? It's all right, teammate. Take your time. He's got a barrier all over me, bro. We're fine.
You're right. What makes me a bit hesitant is I'm on console. My other characters are leveled, but I don't know the build loops of them. Um, I'm a little confused what you mean about build loops, but you don't need more than one character. Like most of everything in uh, in Ron can be sold with any, and everything in Ron and Vogue, I believe, can be sold with any class. I don't know if Atheon can be done by Hunter. Um, I'm sure it can though. But yeah, just like pick your most comfortable character and learn in first encounter is not bad. The hardest part about solos, I would say, especially if you're a new player, getting into it is like new to solos. Is no one really makes guides on solos. There's a couple exceptions, but for the most point, and definitely not like up to date guides. Um, so for the most part, you have to be good at like watching people do it and then picking out like why they do it. Sometimes they'll link like dim loadouts and stuff and you'll be able to kind of put together why they're using certain things and how they're chaining it together. The good thing is for Cataclysm Incision, that's not, is it Cat is the first encounter called Cataclysm? Did I just make that up? I feel like I just made that up. What's the first encounter of Ron called? Uh, for the first encounter incision, um, you there's not really any weird interactions you have to worry about. Those are usually saved for like damage phases and stuff. So you're right. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that's why I think a, a really great place to start is actually low manning raids, but like as like three or four mans, you know, like go three man of Vogue. Like it's not, there's not, you don't really have to, actually, is there any three man in the game that you have to, that you have to exploit? I don't think so. Like the closest would be totems for King's Fall. Not really an exploit, but you definitely, there's some fuckery going on just with your timing and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything you have to bug in a one man. Two man DSC is kind of buggy because you have to get out of. Yeah, uh, two man fog. I would like to just go three man something. Descent in deep zone? Yeah, you get three man descent. Uh, normally? Yeah, three man descent's fine. Right? I don't remember. I think your timing just has to be weird. Or you have to die or something. I've heard exactly how it goes, but... Yeah, I think in three-man descent, you just don't pick up Operator. And you just have to dunk three orbs every time. It's been so long since I've done it, though, so I definitely could be wrong. Don't you have to exploit for Vaughn because of the teleports? Uh, yeah, I guess you would. I think you just float out of the map. I don't know. I I have not done low man Vog since it launched, so I really do not like Vog. So I try not to spend a lot of time in that raid, to be honest. But I did some like three man Crota. That shit was really fun. Like you just gotta you just gotta find a couple gamers who. Who are willing to learn with you and uh, fucking send it, man. Pick the nuke outside. No, they fit. They changed that. I think they patched that because it used to be. Yeah, you would bring it outside and then you would despawn and it would also take your buff. But I think they changed it where you can't do that anymore. But once again, it's been so, it's so hard for me to keep up with the modern strats for these things because I'll generally do them once and then like never again. I'm not one of these people that likes to do every low man every season on every character. It's like, I'll do it once, I'll learn the strats and then I'm like, okay, that's enough for me. Man, probably the best grenades I've ever sent out of my life, honestly. I have never felt more like an anime character than uh, when I was well skating to the last known incision and saving the wrong with one second on the big clock. There you fucking go. That is a good feeling, isn't it? Scission's weird, because I would say it's like one of the least, 
technically like difficult solos, but I struggle with it so, so much. Um, it's, and I think the main thing with it is you, you cannot fuck up. Like there's very little room for error on Scission. Uh, and it's so long. It is such a long encounter solo. So even though like hypothetically it's not that bad, it it is probably my least favorite solo encounter of Ron. Uh, Cause it just fucks with my head the most. Cause I, I fail and I'm like, man, this should not be that bad. And then I'm just fucking up over and over and over again. And it just kind of spirals from there. But Scission does allow for some really awesome clutches. It's a pretty good encounter, I guess. Just pisses me off because I know I should be better at it and I'm not. <laughs> but it's such a good first one to learn, I think. Yeah, literally hearing that Middle Mars is viable for solo. Is it? Is it? Can you do solo Mars now? Or Middle Mars? Bro, Middle Mars pissed me the fuck off, dude. I don't know if I'll ever have a solo. Like, even... Like... Even as I continue to learn solo flawless run, I don't think I'll be as happy with that as I was with solo Atheon. Like, solo Atheon is probably the hardest thing I have ever done and will ever do. I think the the, oh, the OG solo Atheon, I think is... From everything I have done in run, I think is hard... Or, solo Atheon is harder than the entirety of solo flawless run. In my opinion. Uh, as someone who soloed all four encounters, but not solo flawless yet. Um, solo Atheon was just really tough for me specifically, I guess. But there's not a lot of people who did it, so it's hard to compare. More people have solo flawless <laughs> Rune of Nightmares than people who solo soloed Atheon back, uh, back in the day. All right, Garbage, hit me with it, brother. I feel like a Destiny animated show could work really well. I totally agree. Happy to send the message to me. Do you, when do you plan on releasing the prep guide for the final shape? Probably pretty soon, the within top. the next month or so. Maybe, maybe two months. Try not to do it too early, because you want to capture people who are coming back that actually care about prepping. Yeah, maybe sometime around, uh, I'll release it, like, maybe a week after Into the Light. Something like that. That way there's still people playing the game that might be interested in it and all that, so. Something like that. Oh, 12 minutes, that's rough. Oh, I'm not wearing my fucking clothes on, god damn it. Oh, am I, do I have a Nightfall card? Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, just a couple more Platinums and uh, complete all my Nightfalls and then I'm, I'm gilded. Oh, that's actually, wait, what am I doing? This is not even the guild. I don't even think I need to do that shit. <laughs> Champ is the guild. Oh yeah, all I need to do is plat. Well, are these Platinum? Or are these Gold? This is a Platinum, all right, fuck it. Oh my god, these guys are pog. Oh my god, they're zooming, bro. They're here in four minutes? I like these people. Are they in a fire team farming? No, they're fucking not, dude. They're gamers, though. Let's go. Uh, yo, what's up, brother? You only get, uh, they're guaranteed from diamond, but they're, uh, you have a chance from anything you, you bank. What is your high score? I don't fucking know. I'll look at it. Uh, firstly, back in 2013, someone supposedly signed an NDA before the beta leaked apparent details about the game's original story. Would you consider that information a leak? Uh, I think it's so far removed that we're good now. Uh, most of us know that info. 
And a lot of it has found its way back into Destiny, like Crow and Rasput uh, Rasputin probably becoming Archangel at some point. So I think that's fine. Seems to be the best time for it, in my opinion. Like you said, you can get more attention from new players from returning. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, like I said, like I'll... Yeah, somewhere around April. Because I wanted to do all right. Um, and I wanted to help people, you know? If, if I release it now, it's like... Everyone's gonna be like, oh, who's prepping? And honestly, I don't think prepping is that important for the final shape, to be honest. But maybe... Maybe I will be... Sorely mistaken. I do expect the day one raid to be fucking baller, though, so... Uh, in terms of, like, difficulty, I guess. As difficult, if not a little bit more crit... Cri difficult, fuck, than day one Crota. Wait, how is Bounty Prep gonna work this time with the rework coming? Do we know...? I will need info on this rework. I do not recall any rework. Do you think they're going to circle back to the original story and have the Traveler leave us on a plot twist? Uh, maybe. I do think somehow... I think somehow they're going to leave the Traveler behind. I don't know if the Traveler will die or if there will end up being multiple Travelers or if the Traveler leaves, like something like that, but I... I do think that we're going to have a moment where it's like we don't need the Traveler for the light, Traveler leaves type of deal. Because I feel like they really, if the Traveler's still here, I feel like the next sagas always have to circle back around to something with the Traveler. You know what I mean? So I feel like if they're wanting to move away from this quote unquote light and dark and they're wanting to go another direction, I feel like you almost have to get rid of the Traveler. You have to, um, it's kind of like X-Men comics used to do with uh, Professor Xavier, where they would always, like, they would always neutralize him. I mean, the movies did this, too. They'd always neutralize Xavier early in the movies uh, or in the, in the stories because he's just too powerful. Like, I feel like they have to do that with the Traveler now. According to Bungie, uh, they're making it as hard as Spire Stars. Well, that's not exactly what they said. They said that Spire Stars couldn't be considered the hardest raid. But that's from a mechanic standpoint, too, right? Like, that doesn't have really much to do with... Um, has a little bit to do with, but not a lot to do with enemy uh, difficulty. That's more mechanic difficulty, right? So, those are two different things. Um, so, we'll see. Not really since they uh, have the Legend campaign giving you level loot. So the only reason to prep for bounties would be artifact. Um, for the artifacts. If, we, if we're thinking the raid's going to be the hardest one ever, which hopefully it is, you're probably going to need to crutch on those artifact mods. That's the only reason. For the past two expansions, that's the only reason. You know? Light level, yeah. You pretty much light level up to max. Plus, it's contest, so you don't even have to get as high as possible. You just get high, and then... Boom. Oh, did I claim this? Let's go! Guardian games from Memento. Yes, yes, yes. So she just holds him here. That's an interesting... Can you keep them in your Postmaster? Oh, you can get a diamond trial. Uh, okay, you can do a diamond trials card. So there are three a week. I was hoping that they did a raid with the traveler. Set all the spirits coming out of his head. Be extra bosses you can fight. Oh, the witness. I just want the witness. I like. Pretty much everyone has the idea of like a multi-stage witness fight. Um, I'm just really hoping that it just gets more and more unhinged as you go. Like I, I really want it to be like reality breaking type shit. I think that could be really fun. 
Uh, remember, guys, Bungie is raising money for direct relief. If you want to get this exclusive emblem, it's only available for the next couple of weeks. Very cool. It's a $10 donation. The link is at the top of chat, or you can do exclamation point emblem. Um, and anyone who donates using my link also gets entered into a Star Splash giveaway as well. So... I'm gonna keep it 150 with you. I'm not touching trials and no diamond card could ever change that. Uh, I haven't played the new trials, but new crucible has been really good. So I wouldn't be surprised if new trials felt really good too. I'm excited. Um, next week is the summoner. So I'll probably be farming some of that just because. Um, Disgraced. But uh, <laughs> Skipper Tech, let's go. Um, what was I saying? Oh, next week for summer, so I'll probably farm out for a decent one of those because it can roll with like onslaught now. But uh, when it's the profit in a couple weeks, man, my ass is gonna be grinding. Uh, yes, the Nightfall Sword is not this upcoming Tuesday, but the one after, so nine days. And I will also be grinding. I'm skipping hockey that week to farm that sword. And it's the corrupted strike. It better be double loot, man. Oh, it'll be over. I'm gonna farm until I literally get the most perfect, perfect roll. If that shit does not have jagged edge and sword master's guard and bait and switch and eager edge and impact mod, which I think swords can only have impact mods, but if it does not have all that stuff, I'm done. I'm like, I, I am farming until I get the perfect roll. Bro, what is my team doing? Oh, what? Am I soloing this? What? Bro, am I requeuing right now? All right, I'm just gonna requeue. I ain't about to solo this whole shit. Uh, the impasse seems like it'd be good for solo or less skilled players. Yes, and well, keep in mind, I think the biggest change that they did is the three, the incentive for um, three stacking. I think that's really cool. Honestly, it could be the worst sword in the world for me. I just want a Dark Traker with Eager. Well, you're good. Hell yeah. How will Swords skating me with a new sword? I wonder a different animation will affect how it works. So people put Eager Edge on Whirlwind Blade, or sorry, Vortex Frame Swords during the crafting and it worked. Um, it was actually a faster animation, I believe. But uh, we'll have to we'll have to see because it's like that's good indication that it'll work, but that was kind of like broken you know what i mean so we'll see hopefully it works oh shit i fucked up i fucked up my sparrow tech this guy's doing it no he's not oh no he's not good at the tech this guy does not know the tech oh no Boy, that's not the tech. This guy does not know it. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, it's like this. There we go. Oh, fuck. I'm still... It's hard. If you're going straight, it's fine. But if you're... The scammer broke my game. Um... If you're going in a straight line, it's fine. But if you're taking a curve, that's a learning curve. I don't know how to get the emblem. But when, how do I get it? Uh, you'll get an, M, uh, an email and it'll be at the very bottom of the email. It'll be, it'll be a code. So 
let me rejoin. Let's go. Turns out me getting moved to the store was a good thing because uh, in the long term, one of my friends was spreading rumors. Oh, that's shitty. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> uh, I'd take off my skimmer because I crash kept crashing my game. Uh, that's not happened to me. Is that that's a known issue? The skimmer crashing games? Bungie. Our third leave? I'm so sick of people leaving this shit. Also, next time it's Igneous, I'm farming the most insane god roll Igneous you've ever seen in your life as well. I've got a lot. Man, this update really invigorated my farming bug. Um, there's just so many interesting weapons and like they power crept a lot of shit and the crucible changes made 120s like the most viable again. What's the Igneous God roll now? Uh, precision instrument. I'm not really sure what's good in that first slot. Uh, I don't know everything it can, it can roll with off the top of my head. Uh, probably rapid hit. Does it roll with rapid hit? Let me pull up, uh, let me pull up Foundry and I'll, I'll tell you what I think it is. Oh, if it has keep away, definitely keep away as well. Keep away is pretty goaded. Especially for 120s, like where you're going to be using them is pretty perfect for keep away. So like keep away precision instrument. Precision instrument allows you to, to crit one body. Oh, Dashy, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out, my friend. Golden power makes Stasis Warlock ridiculous. I had six Osmi and Mancy turrets active at the same time. That's so cool. I do love that. Like I said, like a lot of people are kind of shitting on Guardian games for the whole like Guardian v Guardian aspect. That's like the least important part of Guardian games. The everything else is so much fun. Like the, the activity portion of it, I have a lot of fun with. I don't really even give a fuck about the class warfare type of bullshit that they're doing. What's your shoddy? Yeah, it's a craftable uh, Imperial Decree. It's just the one that I use for Explicator. All of my subclasses right now are for solo flawless run, so I'm just I'm just using what I got. I'm, I'm making do because I'm too lazy to go to Dim and use some of my old loadouts. Ooh, fra okay, Fragile Focus or Keep Away. Keep Away does more than just range, right? Probably, for probably Keep Away. Because Fragile Focus is just, what, plus 20 range, 10 range? It's a lot of, it's a lot of the range. Not a fan of the aesthetics of Guardian games. I haven't been, but this year, the uh, the armor slaps. I don't really like the tights and spandex looking shit that they always do. But this year, uh, kind of kicks ass. We're close now. She won't escape this time. Retreat isn't an option for her anymore. Oh, sheesh, Kaden. Do you, uh... Without incriminating yourself, do you spend a lot of time on the Dreadnought or the Moon? Or is that like all actual playing numbers? Because that's ridiculous if that's playing numbers. I'm at like 250. <laughs> I thought I played too much. You do not? Fucking hell, dude. You can't farm it, so dishonest. If I wasn't so worried about the electricity, I would definitely farm. It's just free bright dust, man. You get 
you know, so many bright engrams a night. I have, uh, I, I have no qualms about that. I don't really care about the XP side of it. Is it this one again? It was just this one like two days ago. Farming what? Uh, AFK farming for XP, like overnight or anything. Yeah, that's fair enough. I much prefer uh, Dawning and Solstice armor. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I totally agree with that. Especially Dawning. The Bungie artists have been destroying Dawning armor for, like, the past couple of years. I feel like Solstice has kind of fallen off a little bit. Um, but, uh, man, the last, like, two or three years of Dawning sets are ridiculous. I like the... Yeah, I guess out of the four, Guardian Games aesthetics are probably my least favorite, but the activities are definitely my most favorite by a lot. By a lot, a lot. But how did I not... What? I am wearing sun bracers. That was weird. Bruh? being toxic right now. Keep away 10 range, 30 reload, 5% cone. Can you, what is, uh, what is fragile focus? 20 range? Because if, if fragile focus is 20 range, I'd probably take that. Over 10 range and 5, 5% cone. Although I don't know the whole cone thing. I don't. It's so hard for me to comprehend. Why is this not working? There we go, fuck, man. My Sunbracers were just having a bad time. 20 range. Yeah, so I don't know what 5% cone feels like, you know? That's a hard... That's hard. That's a hard thing to, to fucking... To do and what's the range on keep away 15 meters no 10 no it's it's less than that 10 meters even 10 seems like a lot i haven't really played on my titan as much this season or any standout builds beside the strand one uh the strand one is just so entirely broken that you probably shouldn't play. If you're playing tight, you probably shouldn't play anything else but that. Yeah, uh, no. You can kill it with the incineration for the snap, for sure. For sure. Because I, I do that in Explicator all the time. I just think I'm missing shit. I keep thinking I'm killing him, but I'm just not. Been here, done that. I'm leaving... I bet the next, the new Warlock Super with some bracers is gonna be fucking ridiculous. <laughs> 15 meters? Yeah, I think Fragile Focus, honestly. Probably Fragile Focus, Precision Instrument. Range, Masterwork, Accurate Small Bore. Unless you max out your range at 100 before that, which I don't know what the base range of, uh... Wait, did I complete this? No. Here. Well, I'll pull up Foundry. I'll pull up Foundry real quick. And we want the Igneous. Yeah, you definitely want Precision. Let's try Keep Away. Uh, sorry, Fragile Focus. Let's try Accurize. Let's try Small Bore. All right, so what does this do? And give me precision instrument most. 
Uh, I definitely don't need six. This doesn't give a range. Uh, so 77 range. Is this with Fragile Focus? 97 with Fragile Focus, and then if I hit 10 range... Oh yeah, it's way too much. What if I just put an Adept Range mod on and then turn this off? Oh, 97! Forces are lashing out from the cosmic rule led by a disgraced wizard named Navota. Huh. Disgraced? She narrowly escaped a previous vanguard operation with her life. Maybe ha now well, questions her strength. She'll yeah, if you go for Hammer Forge instead, and then you can put literally anything else in this column. I think that's what I'd go with. Because losing 7 stability, is that that big of a deal? This way you get 100 range, 95 recoil direction, which is perfect. And a 5% bigger accuracy cone. It crashed my game again?! Bruh. I'm gonna freak out! <laughs> What do you think? What do you think about that? I'll have to ask some of my friends what they think. But this one, this feels like a good roll. That feels real solid. I feel like picking Hammer Forged over Small Boar is a little untraditional though I like handling having some stability because I have keeper precision with small bore I'm just missing the mag perk. So you're just missing an accurized. I just like if you ha if you put accurized on it and small bore uh, along with oh with keep away. Yeah, okay. I'll have to see. I'll have to. I'll have to theory craft a little bit. Lots I just don't like having range go to waste. Like having having more than a hundred. And I don't know, like I played mouse and keyboard, so stability isn't the most important thing in the world. Especially well, I guess stability makes you flinch less. But especially when the recoil direction's already 95, it's like you know. That's already straight up and down. And I, I do run seven Rezil, so my flinch is already muted as well. Right, because... Or is... Wait. Yeah, Rezil affects your uh, affects your flinch, right? Am I making that up? I feel like that was a change they made semi-recently. But maybe I'm making that up. It does? Okay, that's what I thought. I always get so unsure because they change it and I'm always like, oh man, did they did they unchange that? Did I make that up? Oh, they already made the Empyrean changes. Wait, why am I not empowered anymore? I have to be empowered. And I just can't see it. I'm reading. 
Hey. Dense hive signatures in a facility up ahead. I don't like this. It feels like a trap. Then spoil their plan. We should start a petition and send it to Bungie so they stop making these ones where you have to do like 15 of every activity for every event, especially Solstice. But like, man, nice. Oh, nice. 15, 15 Nightfalls is a bit excessive. Do you have any God Rolls? Yeah, dude, I got some real good stuff. We're gonna farm the first encounter at some point. Uh, for the auto, but um, We're close I've been using this Support dynamic sway, eh, fragile focus range. I've I'm really been liking this, and then I also got this roll with uh threat detector onslaught small board, but it's got a stability masterwork. Energy signature. Boy. That's her. That's Navota. Boy. But still, feeling pretty good. I can't tell if I have restoration or not, man. I do not have restoration, fuck. Uh, do you expect any final shape tra uh, trailer teaser this month? Only three months till then. Um, I would say early April. I think we'll get a lot of that information with the teaser of um, of Into the Light. So, uh, yeah, I would expect it very soon. Like I, with how the rhetoric Bungie's been using and stuff, I very much expect a very aggressive marketing push this time around. So I'd be very shocked if we don't start seeing stuff very soon. Uh, like I said, like early April, I would expect Into the Light information and, uh, and Final Shape information. Probably a new trailer for both. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Vidoc or like a mini live stream or something. Because like, I think Bungie really needs this to pop off and they really need to garner a lot of hype. And I think they'll they'll tease a little bit, a little bit more of what's coming in the future. Not a lot, but they'll say like there will be more expansions or something like that, just to get people hyped. Because uh, I I think they really need to rebuild a lot of that community sentiment going into this if they really want it to be successful, which they obviously do. Probably won't know anything about any of the light until it drops on April 9th. Uh, we don't have a date. So we don't know if that's when it drops. Uh, we, we we do expect, I mean, I expect at least in the first two weeks of April, because they did say early April, I believe, but we don't actually have a formal date. At least that, uh, not that I'm aware of, unless I missed it in a, in a TWAB or something. Say so you got real low, so I heard break, high cow, keep away, head seeker, range mass work. There you go. You got the date from the league? Wow, come on, dog. How many leagues have been right in the past fucking year? I mean, look, it's pretty much a 50-50 chance, right? One of the first two... One of the first two, uh... Weeks. So it's like, that's not necessarily a hard thing to make a, a week with or whatever, you know what I mean? But, come on. You know what? The, how many credible weeks have been fake in the past year? Like, all of them? two years three years four years like people got hyped over that one fucking pace bin and uh ever since then it's just been like people saying the most ridiculous shit in my chat that they heard from a league oh the the europa sunset yeah i mean that's like or not the europa sunset the uh, activity pass that could be it that could be it that could be something weird like i said it's pretty much a 50 50 chance it's either the second or the ninth or I guess the 16th, right? Those are the first three Tuesdays in April. So I guess you kind of have a 33% chance. So the middle one's a pretty safe bet.
I'd rather they don't talk too much about after the farm state believe it. Um, I would say if community sentiment is good, then secrecy builds hype. But if a large vocal part of the community is, uh, is has been expressing distrust over Bungie's handling of the game and the future of the game, I would say secrecy, uh, secrecy uh, does not build hype. And instead, um, kind of like biases towards people's uh, distrust, I would say. Like, if you don't think they're going to do something good and they're not talking about it, you're more likely to reaffirm those beliefs in your head. Right? I think they, and for a live service game like Hype, Hype and belief and, like, all of that, the community buying into what's going on, that's really important. Um, so I don't think Destiny or Bungie can afford to play the secrecy game right now. April 2nd is Iron Banner, so probably not that. Oh, yeah, they're releasing weapons. Yeah, that's a really good point. I didn't think about that. That's when the fucking, um... That's when Tusk of the Boar comes out, man. I'm excited for that shit. I'm very excited for that shit. But yeah, we'll see, man. I don't know. I, I do expect, uh, like I said, a very aggressive marketing campaign. I, I expect a trailer, a Vidoc, at the very least, I would expect uh, even more than that. A little more commentary. I would like to see, um, personally, I would like to see it, uh, not a huge like reveal live stream like they typically do, although I wouldn't turn that down. But I would like to see maybe a smaller scale 15, 30 minute like spotlight um where it's tyson green and he's talking about kind of his vision for destiny going forward and it's tyson green right tyler green tyson green i think it's tyson um talks about his vision for destiny going forward now that he's game director uh talk about some of the stuff in final shape that we haven't heard about um and start to maybe tease some more promises and set a more concrete future for the game nothing crazy like don't reveal the the date or the name of the next yearly expansion or whatever just confirm that there will be one to put the people's concerns to rest um tease that wrath of the machine is coming back if it is at some point in the next year as the returning raid um don't like directly say it but just like oh yeah we even have a, a fan favorite returning raid sometimes something like that you know what i mean um they they have to pull out a lot of s stops i think a lot of tricks to get people excited so Oh shit! <laughs> that tech is fun, but fuck, it's kind of hard. That desperation makes her dangerous, but also reckless. Eliminate her before she regains her. So we'll see, but I I would really I think one of my favorite parts, and I know it's more of a recent development, but one of my favorite parts about Joe's time as game director was was kind of that blatant open communication that he was just starting to really lean into and we've been through periods of the game i mean luke smith i think his period of the game was really bad about this and i don't know if this is necessarily dictated by the game director but it does seem to correlate with game directors um luke smith's destiny like was notorious for not saying a lot about anything uh, they were very deliberate uh, about when they talked about stuff, and then they were very quiet about things in between those periods. Um, whereas Joe Blackburn tended to, especially in the later year, um, and we've, we've gone, you know, this kind of ebbs and flows, but tended to be a little bit more open about stuff and candid. And uh, I like that a lot more personally. I like that, if the more human element to it. Um, so not saying give everything away don't secrets are good secrets are important but your community as a whole 
or at large needs to trust that you can deliver and buy into what you're doing before I think you can afford to do something like that. What is happening? Yeah, exactly, Caden. So, we'll see. Man, that and bring back the rest of the Age of Triumph Farmer, that'd be sick. I'd be down for that. It is kind of weird that they brought back the Crota stuff and not the Vogue and King's Fall stuff. Uh, I would I would kill for the King's Fall stuff. Like a soft refresh? Fuck, that'd be so good. But, once again, I'm going into Into the Light expecting the bare minimum. I'm hoping at some point we get an Age of Triumph-esque stuff over the next year or whatever. Um... But, I'm reading dense but for Into the Light, go in expecting the bare minimum. I don't like this. For it sure. Like a trap. Spoil their plans. Maybe look for Sony State of Play. Oh, yeah, yeah. State of the Play around that time. I remember Warzone did an in-game review for the next Call of Duty game. I don't expect anything like that, but it'd be nice. I feel like that's another thing that they really have to do. If I, they... I feel like... There's a lot of people not playing Destiny right now. And the, the best way for Destiny to hype itself up is in-game. Because Destiny truly feels like no other game, right? Like... It, there's a reason Bungie games are so successful, and it's because they fucking are butter smooth. You know what I mean? So, like, an in-game tease like that, like a big community event, like Empyrean Foundation or, like, a quarter of a time, something like that where you're asking people to come back, but you're, like, enti not, like, you're enticing them to come back and jump in, and then they're like, oh, yeah, Destiny feels fucking good, and you capture that hype. Um... Something like that would be massive, right. man. I don't That's know if they've had enough time to develop something like that. Uh, because they were, it's only a couple extra months that they're adding to development at the end of the day. But um, if I was, like, the marketing person, I would be, like, begging them to develop something like that. Because people would go ape shit. You just need... I, like, so, I, I cannot stress enough how important to the success of a live service game that like community sentiment and feeling is you really need people to to be feeling it so much especially a game this old you know you got to pull them in and don't let them go I find it a bit weird there's not much promo going on right now. I feel like they should have already started with the teasers. No, I don't think so. I mean, three months is a long time, man. Three months is a long time. Um, I think two months is a lot more reasonable. I think we'll start seeing some teases at two months, and we'll start seeing some much heavier gameplay-focused stuff uh, a month out. Four or three weeks out. Yeah, exactly, Ice Rocco. Exactly. So, yeah, we do, we'll we see. I think Into the Light is the first step towards that. I'm really, like, I'm setting my expectations, and I'm really worried that Into the Light is just going to be Riven's Wishes 2.0. Um, I hope it's not for, for my enjoyment of the game and kind of, I think, like, the sake of, of Destiny. I, I don't think that would do anything. I don't necessarily think that, that would hurt, but I don't think that would do anything good. That, like, Into the Light being good and really enticing people would be massive for the game, you know? But Bungie's really got to pull out the stops. Bro, enemies shouldn't be allowed to shoot my grenades in midair. It's pretty toxic, honestly, if you think about it. I spent a lot of energy and time making that grenade. Let's go full nostalgia and demand every single thing sunset back in the game as soon as... <laughs> I don't know about all that, dog. Do you remember how, like, before Forsaken, they put Gambit into the game for, like, a couple of weeks? I'm thinking, like, that sort of shit is what we need. Because while I'm not a big fan of Gambit nowadays, 
when Gambit first came out, man, it was hype. It was so hype. So I don't know what the final shape equivalent of that looks like. Of that, like, just, like, BDE come play our game move. But they, I feel like they need something like that. Happy to send the message, Commander. Excellent work. Excellent work, Guardians. Plus, fire team finish a Guardian Games playlist activity without anyone in your fire team dying. Hell yeah, brother. Scarrow, did you know if you keep on tapping the boost on Skimmer? Yeah, I've been doing that at the beginning of this. It's, so it's not only the boost. Um, if you do the side dodge, it goes even faster. So. It's hard to do on this initial turn. I've been trying to show it off a little bit. If I go to like Europa, it'll be a lot easier. Maybe the next exotic aspect supers could come early. Maybe an exotic. <laughs> like an exotic quest, maybe. Um, but not the supers. Not the soup. Getting the supers is like almost certainly tied into the campaign. They love doing that shit, dog. I wouldn't be surprised if the first campaign mission was like go inside the traveler have sexual relations with the traveler boom your communion gave birth to the new subclasses you know some shit like that i should write for bungie honestly that was pretty hot <laughs> so like this oh fuck i see i look the wrong way god damn it it's so hard to jump off your your skimmer too so you 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 click boost and then you you do the side dodge over and over again and look the opposite way. That desperation makes her dangerous, but also reckless. Eliminate her before she regains her footing. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Yo Sam man, what's up? Alright, like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly like this, actually. You see what I mean? You go so fast. If you if you're not bad at it. You look good shape, thank you. I appreciate that. Um Lots of movement. Ahead. Final shape has reverse gambit with PvP first and adds uh adds constantly spawning in. Yeah, that's like fucking iron banner, dog. I fucking hate that. Where why is Why do people keep leaving, man? Can we stop that? I wonder if everyone's crashing because of my my skimmer shenanigans. Uh, my question is: Amazing story with the striker two or six with the six man some new loot great raid is enough to send off Destiny's finale ten year journey. Um, I ex I expect them to do some things to break like the fucking mold. If it's just more of the same, no, I don't think it's good enough. I think that's beyond. Uh, I think that's just kind of like the 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 cold truth. Sixty-seven percent. All right, not so many more then. If you have to do fifteen, I only have to do five more of these. Let's go. Kind of like taking king mission. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. Yo! What's up, Seabro? How you doing, man? Skimmer King 9? Yeah, the, the king at fucking up my slide my my side dashes. Let's go. We're zooming! Oh no! See fuck man! When you're taking different angle turns, it's hard. I'll get I'm gonna get that down. It's crazy how fast you can go. It's awesome. It's so awesome. I love skimmers, man. That's the sort of shit. Like I, I made a tweet like this uh, when they were first announced, but like, man, that's the sort of like little things that show me that Bungie still has a pulse. Like I, it's not necessarily like the most game changing thing ever, or I didn't think it was at the time. It, it, it is actually pretty game changing. But when we saw it, I didn't think it was really that game changing, but it was cool. And it's just like, oh, fuck me. Come on, man. Um, man, it's just like, it's just good. We need more. We need more of this. 
I think I keep crashing my teammates' games. Because people keep leaving. <laughs> my friend made some new tech to go faster while grinding. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna need like a tutorial uh, right now. Calm down, bro. Dude, that would be awesome. Thank you. All on raiding party ahead. You don't seem thrilled about Novota's presence. I don't know, actually I kind of enjoy this more solo. I was getting kind of angry that people were either crashing or leaving, but it's honestly more fun. And I don't feel like I'm actually being slowed down that much. <laughs> oh, we're good. Wait, I not kill him, what? Hello? Easy. So we're with one or two people who are just doing finishers. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I've not played Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I played like a skateboarding game like when I was like a kid. I remember on like my Game Boy or something. And I guess that might have been a Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Um, it had a Green Day song, I think, that everyone loved. And maybe Miss Murderer. By uh, what Miss May I, I think, or something. But. Is that who sings that? I feel like that's wrong. I feel like that's not the right artist, but I just remember that it being kind of heat. What score do you have to get to get in the top 10%? I have no idea. That's Tony Hawk. Oh, there you go. It's probably unlikely, but it won't surprise me if someone from Sony suggested uh, skimmers going into the game. I'm really curious about, like, what that relationship looks like. I would love to be a fly on the wall in that. Like, I, I just don't... I don't know. Like, how much input do they have? We already know that there are other Sony studios that have helped with some of the aesthetic design work for certain things. Like, because there was the... Um, the art station leak for some uh for some ornaments and stuff uh, and a new exotic and stuff and and we thought that was weird but um it has been clarified by someone who talked to paul tassi i think that like that's not abnormal and that bungie's been having relationships like that for a long time and we just didn't know about it i guess or it wasn't as public um i'm really curious what that relationship looks like i'm also really curious like why <laughs> like if if you know there's what 650 people working on destiny and we know a, a decent chunk of them are designers like what's that decision to like we do that sometimes in 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 the chemistry industry too it's like so like i'll go and let's say like i want a certain small molecule but maybe we don't have like the resources or like a reactor that's big enough or can go to a high enough pressure or whatever. I can go to a, what's called a toll manufacturer and ask them to follow a procedure and they can just make anything I want. Um, 
and it's more expensive and stuff but when it comes to like designing things I, I, I don't really know why you would outsource that. Like, if you were to give it to, like, a contractor or something from a business perspective, that makes sense. But, uh, what's, what's the perspective, like, what, why would you have someone externally work on, like, a, it was a parasite ornament that made it look like the DSC, I think, or something like that? I was like, why would you not do that internally? That seems like something that wouldn't be that abnormal. Um, so I, I'm really curious, like, what that, re those relationships look like and why. More from, like, an ignorant standpoint, because I, I truly don't know. I'm not trying to critique any of this stuff. I just, I'm truly fascinated by the inner workings of companies like this. DDoS teammate. Bro! It's fucked up. When I did my run for top 10%, it was, uh, yesterday, it was around 300k. Does it reset, uh, every day, or is it per week? Yo, thank you, Alex. I appreciate your face. Thank you so much. I learned uh, a little about bioplastics the other day, Scarrow. Is that the stuff you're doing? Not necessarily, uh, necessarily bioplastics. So you probably learned about like polylactic acid and polycaprolactone, if I had to guess. Um, or maybe even cellulosics. You might have learned about like uh, cellulose esters, cellulose acetate, cellulose propionates, that sort of stuff. Um, not necessarily what I work with. Uh... I do work with, like, circular plastics, but not necessarily bio-derived. Kind of changes from project to project, though. But, like, we as a company don't make, like, polylactic PLAs or uh, polycaprolactones, PCLs, anything like that. More, that's more niche of a, uh, of a market, typically. Because with, like, circular plastics, there's kind of two ways you can look at it. There's, like, beginning of life, which is, like, bio-derived, and then there's end of life. So how can we typically, like, you know, things like polyethylene or PET, they're usually mechanically recycled, so they're ground down and then mixed with virgin material and melted and remolded. Um, but, like, you can also do end of life in a more circular fashion where you break them down into their core monomers again. And then, like, you hydrolyze them or you do methanolysis or glycolysis or whatever if you're doing polyesters. Um, and then you break them down their core monomers and then you just repolymerize them. And so those those monomers still might be oil-derived, but you can still recycle them from the end of life. Um, and I my research is much more focused on end of life than beginning of life stuff. Uh, for the time being, at least. Wild style. We're happy to send the message, Commander. That's kind of a share roll. Excellent work. Damn. Return to the tower. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty. It is a lot of fun. Just got through uh, midterm starting stoichiometry. Let's go. Stoichiometry is one of those things that's like, it's so important, man. I got top 10% on Wednesday with 240k. Yeah, I think if it's if it's not daily, it's definitely creeping up though. I think you'll look at every wild style roll and say the exact same thing, maybe. <laughs> that is definitely a potential. I'm just hoping that maybe it drops with a perk. I'm the only person with like a certain perk combo in the world that you didn't even know it could drop with. <laughs> Can you imagine? If they did shit like that, like, I don't know how you would be able to hide that from the API. But, like, if they have, like, the equivalent of, like, Diablo's, like, uber rare bullshit. That would be fucking insane. And it was just like, oh, someone just randomly got something super rare. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. I want that so badly. We need curated rolls for ritual weapons. I do wish they would bring back some curated rolls. Don't make them, like, super crazy, but definitely make them, like just unique like uh, i always really liked when the curated rolls were perks that you couldn't get on the random versions prince what the fuck are you doing hmm. joining people randomly is rude you warlock at least bruh and as a
and then be able to pull from collections. Yeah, that sort of shit would be sick. All right, I only need a couple more, so. I'm toxic? Nah, I'm fine. Prince Join is a Titan, man. My mom is rude? Yeah, she is, actually. But yeah, I do kind of miss the curated role thing. I just, I wish there was like, I wish the the role, not like, uh, sorry, the R-O-L-E of different types of weapons were more solidified. Like, I think like, I talk about this all the time. Crafting weapons should be at most like a seven, 7.5 out of 10. It should be good enough to do any content in the game. But if you want a min-max, you have to go randomly farm something. Um, and those random farms, your world drops, uh, your dungeon weapons, things like that, uh, trials, hopefully raids. I really don't like crafting and new raids, things like that. Um, that would be your best of the best. And then, yeah, I'd add curated roll. Fuck, curated rolls for just your most ridiculous stuff in the game. She'll be desperate to prove herself. She regains her footing. If he daybags me, I swear to God. <laughs> Just like that. I feel like I'm missing one as well. Curated rolls crafted. Is there a type of weapon that type of drop that's dropped before? Or like focus drops too. Focus drops kind of the same as crafting. But I feel like right now it's just like, okay, every every weapon type for itself, sometimes they might be broken, sometimes not. Most of the time crafting weapons are absolutely fucking busted for no reason. Um, but I, I just, I personally feel like best in slot should never, ever, ever be a crafted weapon, personally. But if I want like my double rampage or kill clip rampage gun from Black Armory, like make that a curated drop. Why the fuck not? You know, just make that silly. Maybe crafted. I really don't like crafted raid weapons, man. And the on returning rate. So like, it's like, okay, Deep Stone's been out for a fucking decade. They want to get people back into it. You know, it's smart. Use get people playing old content because it takes less to update it than to make a new raid. Like that that is like from a business standpoint very very like a good move. So if you wanna revamp Deep Stone or Garden or whatever after a couple of years, get people back into it, give them craftable weapons, sure. But new stuff and, and those weapons I don't think should still I still don't think they should be best in slot. Like Apex should not exist. <laughs> in my just in my opinion. Supremacy should not exist. Uh, not as good as it is. Um, but, like, new raids, like, I, I, I truly, like, to my core, believe that crafting in new raids 100% destroys uh, my loot excitement and, like, drive to, 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 to play that raid. Because no matter what I get, I'm dismantling everything until I can craft it. It's gonna happen in the channel after marathon fuck I, man i don't even fucking know i don't even know if i'll be alive when marathon comes out dog that's a crazy question i mean destiny will still exist i i do not see a future where destiny is not the main game of this channel you know what i mean so i don't fucking know when destiny dies the heat death of the universe and destiny's gone i don't fucking know what happens Dense hive signatures in a facility up ahead. I don't like this. It feels like I look in a funny way. Crafting is respecting my time, but at the end of the day, if re if respecting your time ends up breaking the balance of the game or hurting the long term grind of the game, which it does, then I don't. I think that is disrespecting other parts. It's like it's hard to put it into words, right? But if if it's taking your enjoyment out in terms of the long term or i mean it's not everybody like not everyone's like a fucking freak like me and likes to farm things you know what i mean which is fine 
but I feel like there's a there's a big difference between respecting your time and like getting handed the most powerful bullshit in the game. There's a there's a big gray area there that helps with the long term the longer term engagement with the game. I'm not saying everything that you get needs to be bad. It just shouldn't be best in the slot. We're close now. She won't escape this. Right. I'm not saying like, oh, if you get crafted oh, weapons, they should be shit. No, they shouldn't. They should, like I said, 7.5, 7 out of 10. Good enough to complete any content in the game. You know what I mean? That's fine. But if you want a mid-max, there's no reason for, for anything mid-max to be handed to you like that. Especially in like a game like Destiny. That's where the, the point is to play it super long term. But once again, I'm kind of a, I'm getting freaky with it, you know? It's too simplistic. Yeah, I totally agree with that as well. But also it's like, okay, if they take the time to make changes to the Destiny 2 crafting, I think it's just too far gone is my point. So like, I don't think it makes sense for them to really make any changes until whatever our next reset is, whether that's a hard reset of Destiny 2 at some point uh, or a Destiny 3, or I mean, maybe they'll never do one, but I feel like it's it's healthy to do those sorts of things. Um, and I feel like a huge rework of like how the, all these systems work doesn't make sense because everything's already fucking broken. <laughs> you know? So. Destiny is also not the game where you need to, where you need to be max unless you're racing for world's first. Yeah, like exactly. That's, that's exactly my point. So for most people, just getting the crafted weapons being seven or 7.5s out of 10 would be perfect for, you know, 80% of people. Anyone else who does play the game more would be the ones that would like to farm for for the min max stuff i can i totally like your point that you just made is exactly my point for people who aren't as interested in the game and don't play it constantly you don't need to mean min max there's no reason for them to hand you the best of the best of the best loot it's it's not benefiting you and it's only hurting the rest of the game the rest of the player base I play the content because I like the content. If the only center is a reward, I'm hesitant to hop in. There's definitely should be a healthy balance of both though, right? Like raids, for instance, a lot of us do raids more than, you know, 10 times. You probably have most of the raid loot after 10 times. I guess with crafting, you know, a, let's say 20 times, a couple weeks, five, six weeks, you should have everything done. Um, a large part of the replayability or is going to come down to the replayability. <laughs> How fun the activity is to play more and more. Um, but there are definitely other activities in the game. You're never going to make strikes so fun that you're going to want to run them for 10 years. There needs to be a good loot incentive. Same with Gambit, for instance. So there's definitely a middle ground. It's going to depend on the type of activity you're running. How many? Do I just need a couple more? Like three more? I think we're almost done with guardian games oh my god kind of feel satisfying when your best in slot isn't crafted that's what i'm saying that's what exactly like when you get that drop and then you're using it it's like it mostly only exists in pvp nowadays like igneous hammer immortal um or i guess uh even adjudicator now like those sorts of things in pve it's like zollies Cataphracts. What else is not? Uh, it will be the Slammer, which I'm very happy about. Maybe Tusk of the Boar, just because it can combine with other things. Uh, Exalted Truth and Rose fall into those for PvP. Cartesian for PvE, but usually that's just fucking sold, so whatever. <laughs> Yeah, for PvE, it's so much more rare. You you could make the argument for Cold Comfort or the cru oh, is it Crux? Crux Termination in some content. Most of the time, Apex is like just fucking busted. Disgraced. She narrowly escaped the previous Vanguard operation with her life. Now the brood questions her strength 
Oh my god, look at that. That was insane. World record timing right there. That was crazy. Lots of movement ahead. Be ready for anything. Yeah, the world drops right now are in a really good spot. I definitely, like, I give them big props for all of the world drops from this season. The Nox, the Crux. Um, what's the... It's the the Nox is the, the fusion, right? Whatever the, ha the auto is as well. Those three from this season are kind of busted in a really good way, which is awesome. I love to see that. I absolutely love to see that. Are the perfect crux roll for GM helps with solar season, so I use Apex instead. I mean, that's how it goes, you know? The crux thing is fun. I like when they give world drops just ridiculously broken rolls. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, slide shot on a rocket. Why the fuck not? It's like slide shot surrounded is like the Uber one, right? Fucking ridiculous. Is Rose still be able to be acquired competitive PvP? Yeah, you can focus it now, right? I think you get like X number of focuses per week with the new update. I haven't toyed around with it yet, but I, I'm pretty sure it's like you get, you get an extra focus. Uh-oh. Extra focus based off of your rank. Fallen raiding party ahead. They don't seem thrilled about Mavosa's presence. You get up to seven, there you go. That's cool. That's a good thing too, right? A, a nice middle ground be between like farming random rolls. I really, I think like the, the PVP side of the game has some of the best examples of good loot distribution. I, I really, with the exception, I think adepts need to be looked at and I think they're they're working on it in trials. But in terms of like just raw power, um, comp and trials, I think have a really, are a really great example of how I like root systems where yeah you can farm them but you can also focus them a little bit that sort of thing i think is a really good middle ground for what the best of the best should offer um shouldn't be the only good things in the slot but they should be the best things in the slot when you have to work that hard to get things in my opinion and i think like exalted igneous rose um cataphract they're all really great uh probably profit profit looks like it'll be pretty busted with some uh, good rolls, summoner is is always a safe option, like that sort of thing. Um, I I really like that. The problem with Rose now is 140s in the new meta, at least in my opinion, from what I've played, are just like they're kind of just outclassed by 120s. 120s, especially with the range, because the biggest like. Like drawback to hand cannons like 140s right now is you're almost in smg range um maybe it's like double the range of smgs maybe a little bit more effectively but you're they're able to close that gap really easily now whereas i feel like 120s i mean i'm hit with ag i'm hitting 90s from across the fucking map and it's like yeah try to close that gap you know what i mean so i feel like 120s are so much more competitive now if you play that sort of game. Platinum or above for Memento? Uh, no, I believe you can, it's like gold and platinum have a chance, diamond is guaranteed. I tried to send it and I didn't log in for a month and while I logged in, I hit with a 900 point, minus 900 points, oof. And now it's even harder. Cause it's, it's purely, it's not skill based anymore. It's purely rank. We're close That's rough. She won't escape this time. Retreat isn't an option for her anymore. Not with the brood doubting her. Expect yeah. And it's like, it's hard to get excited about a hand cannon. That's not Zollies or especially fucking, um, a Sunshot, you know? That's why I'm so excited for Tusk of the Boar. Being able to, you know, main Sunshot while still using a wave frame that's really good is gonna be like, I, that's gonna be pretty game changing in my opinion, at least for this season. I mean, Sunshot's still even pretty busted, but next season I'll probably go back to like uh, like an Ikelos or something. We'll see, we'll see what the day one looks like where the artifact perks look like or some of the new weapons or anything like that. But 
Deconstruct will either do nothing or will be totally broken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, infinite ammo potentially? Kind of nuts. Why would the guy... The guy just joined. Saw we're like almost at the end and left. This is like the worst time to leave this. Just take the free completion, man. Are they doing a proper showcase? We do not know. Um, I think it's unlikely that they do a fucking full showcase. Like, I don't think they'll do like one of their hour ones they usually do. Uh, I think at the very least we'll get a buy doc. I would be, I personally think if I was Bungie's marketing team, I would do a short one, 15, 20 minute showcase, introduce Tyson Green, uh, talk a little bit about his vision for the future of Destiny. Uh, I think, I just, I'm not sure if Bungie understands, like, how important that relationship between the community and the game director is. Or maybe they do. I'm not, I don't really know. Maybe something they've been kind of picking up on, but I, I truly feel like that's a very important relationship. And they should try to get us off on, on the best foot with Tyson. Um, but I would love, like, a little, a little showcase introducing us to him, his vision to Destiny, Maybe some hints at what comes in the future. Show off more of the final shape. And I think cap it off showing off into the light. Um, or a little bit of episode one. Because keep in mind, keep in mind, episode one drops like the week after final shape. A couple weeks after final shape. Uh, and we still don't really know what that looks like at all. And I would find it very hard to believe that they're going to launch that blinds. Especially with like how sales are going. Um, so I'd be very surprised if we don't get some sort of hint about what that looks like. So I don't know if it's enough to, to drive like a full hour long reveal or whatever, but I would be very surprised if we don't get like a 20, 20 minute, 25 minute one, or a, like I said, a Vidoc can essentially serve the same exact purpose as well. So... Yo, uh, see ya, Adam, going off for the night before the clocks move forward. Didn't the clocks move forward last night? Yeah, it was last night. Right? I'm not crazy. Pretty sure it was last night. Maybe different parts of the world. We're happy to send the message. Yeah, good luck with seeing that one, Cave. <laughs> so that one's done. Couple more. Oh, you're UK? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, go to the tower real quick. So 87, is that two more? 94? Yeah, two more. Let's go. And then, what's my guild looking like? Oh yeah, I gotta do, okay, that's fine. I'll do that when I'm flying in. Hello, dear. I'm doing my part. Okay, that's gilded. Uh, I think I need a couple more platinum cards for the guild. That would make it easier. But 
Yes, yes. Lab, have you heard anything about the leaderboards yet? <laughs> Would I still love you if you were a worm? What type of worm are you, though? <sighs> Attrition orbs. If you were a worm and you got my leaderboard idea worked in, then yes. If you were just a regular worm and you didn't get my leaderboard idea worked in, then no, I don't think I would. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's kind of fucked up. If you were like one of those hive worms, probably not. If you were just like one of those squirmy guys on the, on the fucking, on the sidewalk, then yeah. All right, four more platinum cards. That's not bad. Every time I see attrition orbs, I dismantle. Even it's four out of five with attrition, I dismantle that shit. It's one of those things that I'm sure it'll have a niche case at some point for solo or something. Um, but I'm kind of in that same boat. It's just like a whatever role. It's not... I don't know. It just doesn't get me that excited, I guess. There's just so many more interesting perks... All right, two more of these should be one more card, and then I'll need three more Platinums for the guild, which I can probably just knock out in Creasy. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to learn all this skimmer tech, make like a compendium video for you. Oh, I think that would be really fun. I love me some tech. And making videos like that helps me learn everything as well. Uh, I haven't done a lot of skimmer skating. I tried some of it. Um it's a it's kind of hard on keyboard con control or compared to controller, but um, I think I can I think I can get it down. So yeah, I'll have to try that, uh, Prince. That's a good shout. Grenade builds are so fun, man. I'm reading dense hive signatures in a facility up ahead. Like this, it feels like a trap. Then spoil their plans. To join Ash and Wake on Coil. Ooh, I haven't thought about Ash and Wake in a long time. That's really interesting. I've been watching old reveal streams, and I remember you saying I'm gonna be a glaive main. Fuck, I forgot I said that. I don't even like glaives, man. That's so ironic. <laughs> That's awesome. Damn, why are skimmers so cool? Bungie had no right to go this hard, honestly.
it's crazy that like people are gonna come back and discover skimmers i hope uh lightfall lightfall's gotta give like a beginner skimmer for people that didn't participate in this event it's got to there's no way that the only skimmer that's available is through eververse they have to give it to everyone and everyone's gonna love it energy signature that's her that's navota Dustin will no longer have content drops and ECS isn't just better than ever. Did they say? Did they say that? I mean, the seasons kind of have been kind of kicking, to be fair. When that was the Witch Queen reveal, the Witch Queen seasons were not were not kind of kicking. The Lightfall seasons have been really good though. Like I I know like people like to meme on it, and I think I think it's more of a a consequence of. Uh, kind of bigger problems in the game but dog i'm standing by it deep was really good and wish and witch were both top tier especially Witch. i i honestly think like which is like top three best seasons ever for sure which uh, wish is up there i feel like um wish really really got hurt by the the, the story structure um and hasn't really had a lot of extra oomph in it but season of the witch did everything right yeah plunder sucks haunted plunder that was rough i mean honestly risen risen plunder haunted hunt wait haunted risen haunted plunder yeah it was probably like the roughest three season streak ever seraph was great seraph is up in the best of all time too seraph was really good the seasonal beats hit, Seraph Shield, like every, all the extra stuff hit. The seasonal activities were pretty good uh, with the battlegrounds, um, the heists, like pretty good all around. Defiance was fine. Deep was great. Uh, great. Deep was good. Six, no, seven, seven, seven point five out of ten. I'd say definitely things I would change about Deep, but Deep was still very good, which nine out of ten. 9.5 out of 10. Wish. Probably 8. Great seasonal activity. Coil's fucking insane. Um, Great dungeon. Holy. Warlords is fucking insane. The loot was uh, eh this season. The aesthetic's awesome. I think just mo mostly the story beats really killed this season more than anything, I think. Or lack thereof. Haunted storyline was great, though. I don't know, man. Uh, that entire year was just daddy issues. The the year, the season. You know what I mean? Like Risen was. Excellent work. Return to the tower. Someone had daddy issues in Risen. I forget who, who did. Haunted was, Keitel daddy issues. Plunder was. Uh, Mithrax's daughter daddy issues. Uh, and uh, Seraph was Anna, the Bray daddy issues. So it's like, ah, uh, I get it. Everyone hates their dad. It's fine. Just critiquing the story of different seasons. But the story for Wish was fucking awesome. I wish we would have saw more in, in the cutscenes for Wish or for Witch. Um, but it's fucking phenomenal.
Yeah, it's just Plunder didn't really have any redeeming properties, right? Like, King's Fall was good. Yeah, that's about it. Catch Crash was fine. Expedition, probably the worst seasonal activity we've ever had. The loot was like, bleh. She'll be desperate to prove herself. Indeed. That desperation makes her dangerous, but also reckless. No, I, I think there's a 0% chance the game dies after Final Shape. Lots of movement ahead. I think ready, people ready. are greatly over-exaggerating the number of people that are, that are quote-unquote, done with Destiny. Uh, it should hold it should hold your spot. I think I yeah, I think I've been crashing my teammates With my skimmer shenanigans, sorry about that But like skimmer though, I gotta go fast, you know what I mean? linger man like do i think we'll get the most popular time in destiny ever no but i mean come on i think linger's a, a pretty big jump too i think people really just don't understand how popular this franchise is or has been uh very recently even not that long ago all on raiding party ahead you don't seem thrilled about Nevosa's presence D3 would be nice. I would like that at some point. Or some sort of refresh. I totally agree. Is it when you come back, Prince? bad job keeping restoration up right now. play pvp this weekend have someone crash our game no how are people crashing the game guys use a solid game for bungie sony they can't slash won't get rid of it and with the trend in recent months it looks like things are getting fixed yeah well i, I mean look man like i said i'm not sure if destiny will ever reach the point that it did right before lifefall which was like the most popular destiny has ever been but i mean this game is a fucking this this franchise is a fucking titan Limiting is your middle name. Oh no, I don't think I would tell say that. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! I haven't seen that Komodo. I haven't heard anyone talking about that. I haven't played any trials. I'm kind of waiting until next week with the pro uh, the summoner and 
two weeks after that with the prophet. We're close now. She won't escape this time. I think this is my very last one. An option for her anymore. Not with the brood doubting her. Expect the worst, Guardian. Navota has no choice but to defeat you. That energy signature. That's her. That's Navota. What? What do you mean that didn't die by my melee? Serious? Interesting Komodo. I'll have to keep my eyes out for that. I didn't even know that's what the other uh, the other Aeon things did. I didn't know anything about Aeons except for the heavy ones. This build is so much fun. Oh shit! No! Ah, oh, I was gonna use that to get my grenade. Alright, not bad! So that's all my challenges. Send the message. So now I'm just going to farm uh, plot cards. Alright, thanks for joining, uh, Prince. Yeah, I saw that you can literally just skip the so to the side of the, the Sparrow part in the GM. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Very cool. I can't wait to find out everything else that's broken. <laughs> They could never bring out back SRL nowadays because you could just like skip through the map using a skimmer. Which would be kind of awesome, I guess. All right, boom. So three more platinum contender cards. Let me see if I can get a checky, a checky point.
And the best part about that, Prince, is I only need three, so I'll just go to orbit, grab the card. I don't even have to come back to the tower every time. That'll be lit. Okay, ready. Queen Shave, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let me pick that on. Dude, the average hunter dunks a lot of medals, I guess. Earn points by defeating a bounds. Oh man, it's over. It's fucking give me okay. ten seconds. Back to work. Does it have to be raid? If it's a dungeon, I could also just do um. No, I'll just do this. <laughs> wow, that's fucking great. That's fucking great, lab. For generations, the Dreaming City housed one of the Awoken's most closely guarded secrets. She is known as Riven. Riven of a thousand voices. The last known Ahamkara. She has been taken, and her death is your calling. I don't think Titans can come back and win this, dude. It's only a couple of days until Hunters, like, win. You know, secure the win for sure. Although, are the wins still double points in the final week, actually? Yeah, long loading time. Someone must have left. Yeah, we're all steam. A lot of math class people on? Whoa. Ton of math class people on. All right, do we think that gave me the checkpoint? Oh, I guess I can check, huh? What? Yeah. I don't know, man. It seemed like the way they described it, I thought this was going to be by far the most fair Guardian games, but... Um, huh. That ended up going really well. <laughs> so, I don't know. Bro, how is it 8 of Hawk already? Holy fuck. The fucking time change really fucked me up, man. All right. Well, I mean, the way they balanced it this time was like, it should be very independent of class. Because it was, the way they described it, just average number banked by every person of a certain class. So every hunter, how many medals they banked averaged that's like i don't know how you could make it any more fair than that the dreaming city housed one of the awoken's most closely guarded secrets she is known as riven 
Riven of a thousand voices. The last known Ahamkara. She has been taken. And her death is your calling. Her death is your calling, Guardian. Oh, I guess I'm using Sunshot. I really didn't need to do that. I'm gonna be honest, I still don't really know how the focus thing works. I haven't taken the time to... to really even understand that. Uh, let me put on a Solar Siphon. So what am I looking at here? What was that? Oh, crows. Defeating combatants and generating worms. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't have this on. This should be about three runs per. That's not bad. Well, let me go ahead and pull up the app. Where the fuck is my Destiny app? Basically, every 46 hours, one place will be focused for two hours, providing increased medallion loot. It lasts for two hours and resets. Yeah, what does the winning subclass part do, though? Or the winning class, I guess. Oh my god! She fucking destroyed me. I'm farming platinum cards. Whichever class uh, generates the most medallions in that time from that specific place, consider the winner of the playlist. But I do not know how that factors in the final winner of the game. So okay. I guess what I should actually be doing is this. Oh, they just get like in they get everything that's crazy well they don't get surely they don't get a diamond every day do they bro oh i have restoration fuck no diamond okay so that should be like 70 percent because i died No, you just need to get kills in Gen Orb, Slab.
Now I'll just go to Orbit real quick. Two more of those. Bungie up. Hmm. Bungie up ain't working. That's fine. That's our fuck it. Not that long. Bunch of abs broken. The bungee app does not want to work. That was the fastest tower fly-in I've ever had in my entire life. That was crazy. Alright, raid. For generations, the Dreaming City housed one of the Awoken's most closely guarded secrets. For generations. She is known as Riven. Riven of a thousand voices. The last known Ahamkara. She has been taken. Oh, free bread dust. Is oh, let's call. go. God, these armor sets are so good, dude. Shit. Just goddamn. Insane. Nice. That is not a sword. So that should be close to 30%. Okay, let me put on, uh, f it's firepower, right? Is that, that's not on this, is it? That's on your helmet. Where's the one that spawns a fucking, am I dumb? Nope, shit, whatever. So, oh, it's on your arms, isn't it? Yes. Yes. What's the theme of the latest crossover? Mass Effect.
Yeah, I hope they just get rid of the accommodation system, big nerd. I'm pretty sick of it, personally. Yeah. I, re I really thought it was going to be good in, um... I really thought it was going to be good in some, uh... Hot swap situations. Pretty unfortunate. So is it just four runs every time? I feel like I usually get two waves and I've only been getting... Why have I only been getting one wave? That's a little strange. Haven't cared about Nightfall weapons since Hothead left? Slammer. Slammer is going to be the greatest weapon in the game. Fuck, I hope it's good. I hope it shades great. Oh, man. I have so, I have so many hopes and desires for Slammer. Think the Bane Switch is kind of cope? Why? How? How is Bane Switch kind of cope? What? That's crazy, dude. I expected dip. I expected more from you, Wobby. <laughs> What's cope about thirty percent free damage, man? That's like the freest thing in the game. You know what's cope is? I'm gonna go to orbit and try to get this app to work again. No, I'm not. Fuck that. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to the fucking tower. I'm not gonna waste my time. That's crazy. Let's count the number of times cold steel's been usable on a weapon. Alright, now let's how it count the number of times a bait and switch has been usable on a weapon. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> no way. Uh, just the places you use Swords Surrounded is almost easy to get. Uh, and if not... Wait, what? Why are we talking about Surrounded? You said Cold Steel. And if not, use Lament anyways and procking Bait and Switch. Dog! Whoa, 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 whoa. There is not a single scenario. Uh, you might, you're, we're on different wavelengths here, dog. There's not a single scenario I'm using a Bait and Switch Sword where Lament would be useful. And pro procking bait and switch for champs or mages just takes too long. It takes literally a second. I, I, not at all. We're not, we're not agreeing on this one in, in the first place. I don't, there's not a single situation where I'm using bait, where I'm the using eager edge, excuse me. The I might have said bait and switch the first time. Eager edge, where a lament is useful. Those are completely Jeez, antithetical. Riven. Completely Riven antithetical. The last no 100%. Ahamkara. She has been taken. Quite a long time with champs die so fast now. 
once again, we're like, you're like considering taking this thing into GMs. I don't know if you've seen the things I take the other half into. Definitely not GMs. Uh, I don't know if my other half has ever even seen a champion. Also, Bane switches procs. <laughs> This is, uh, we're, we're on way different wavelengths on this one. The Slammer is not a sword I'm taking into day one raids. Let's just say that. The other half is not a sword I'm taking into other, to day one raids. But I'm also not taking Lament through a fucking Dares of Eternity, you know what I mean? Or like a, like a, a Strike or a fucking, uh, I'm not taking a Lament into, um, Altars of Summoning or like a coil, something like that. Like things I want to speed through, I'm not concerned with the most optimal DPS in the entire world. I'm 90, well, let's say I'm 70% concerned with speeding through fast in terms of movement and 30% concerned with boss damage. Cause usually you can get away with grenades and stuff, but Bay and Switch will just make it that much better and more well-rounded for to push it over a little bit more number of activities. But there is no shot I'm taking a fucking bait and switch sword into something where you're taking your like a tracks. You know what I mean? Something like that. Fucking no way. We're just like We're on way different wavelengths here. In terms of like just everyday content, bait and switch gonna be the fucking goat. More like Goat and switch, am I right? Hell yeah. And Cold Steel's shit, so. <laughs> oh man. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's a very. I'm sure Cold Steel has a very nice personality, but. It's just not the perk for me. Cold Steel's two anti-champ methods. Yeah, like once again, Wobby, what the fuck are you doing with an eager edge sword and champion content? Like, what are we doing here? Oh, fuck, man. I keep forgetting I have restoration. Also, like one vortex is going to kill a champion anyways and everything but a GM. So if you're running like a normal raid, like say I'm doing a Crota or something and I have to kill a champion, like well, I'm not even going to worry about bait and switch. Just like I don't worry about like a damage perk on my other half right now. You know what I mean? Vorpal, what is that? 10% damage? It's, that sucks. This is like, whatever. It's, I, I, Slammer takes the exact same role as other half right now, plus a little bit more. That's it. I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not expecting to take this into a fucking day one raid or a GM or something. Ain't no way. That's what Apex is for. Or Cataphrag. I shouldn't need too many more. Is this, is this the last round actually? Is this four? Probably one more. All right, one more. Couple more kills here. And that is Guardian Games. Easy.
All right. So I should give me the guild. Back to every title ever, max guilds, everything. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so champ is broken, so it only shows you guild one. Let me check the TWAB before I tweet this. So I wanna make sure I don't look like a dumbass. Um. Okay, it does not look like it. Okay! Boom! Well, that's all I had planned for today. Um, tomorrow, maybe something? Maybe some solo run tomorrow? We'll see. Um, you're actually verifying something before we post online? Kind of crazy, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, for next week... Uh, on Friday, I plan on farming trials, but other than that, there's not really anything to do. So I'll probably be doing a lot of solo run next week. Um, that's pretty exciting. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to call it for today. Thank you everyone for hanging out. Uh, sorry about the internet issues yesterday. I'm glad that we got it resolved and hopefully it stays that way. Um, have a fantastic night, everyone. Love your faces. See you very soon. Peace out.